I've got a fun TikTok try for you guys today. Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I'm in the middle of a little series where I am trying things I've seen on TikTok and coloring eggs using rice was one of them. So let's get to it. So I'm sure you have your own method of hard boiling your eggs to your liking. Maybe you even have little tools, but I, in my opinion, have found the perfect way to hard boil eggs to have it be consistent and not need any additional help. So I get my water boiling uh, more than what you guys are seeing here because I had already put in my eggs and it kind of, I guess, cooled it down or made the bubbles not appear so extreme. But I get my water boiling, I toss in my eggs, and I set a 17 minute timer. And I let the eggs boil in that water for 17 minutes. And in the meantime, you can get your little helpers ready. Aubrey was so excited and it was hard for her to be patient for 17 minutes. And you also want to prepare an ice bath for your eggs. Immediately once that 17 minute timer goes off, we are going to be dropping in these very hot eggs into the ice bath. And from my understanding, this will help the peeling process later on. It will make your shells come off a lot easier and it will stop the cooking of the eggs. So obviously the eggs would normally be hot if you just took them out of the water and maybe that would mean the yolk would be you know, more cooked than what you would prefer. So an ice bath in my opinion is very necessary. <laughs> Then you can let these eggs sit in the ice bath for as long as you want because Aubrey was a little impatient to start coloring the eggs and doing our little activity. I pulled out our first ones while they were, you know, cool enough to work with, but still a little warm, I guess. Then it is time to get the dyeing process ready. So I took two Ziploc bags, filled them with some white rice, and we're just gonna drop in a whole bunch of food coloring little droplets. And Aubrey was excited. She picked the color green and put tons of drops of food coloring in her bag. And then it was time we just drop in an egg into each bag and make sure you zip up the bags. As you guys could see here, I was... I had another egg in my hand and so I wanted to put it in my bag and then I realized later on, as you guys will see, I didn't zip up Aubrey's and I'm surprised nothing spilled for the first like 30 seconds or whatever. But you just kind of toss the eggs around and it will pick up some of the food coloring here and some there and then you get these cool like speckled eggs and uh, yeah, just really make sure you zip up those bags, you guys, because this made a mess and we had to kind of pause our activity to clean up the dyed rice that fell all over the counter and the kitchen floor. <laughs> So once we got that all cleaned up, we continued dyeing our eggs. We were able to do like two at a time. You probably could do three at a time. And we did have to add more food coloring as we went on. So I would recommend like when you guys are starting, maybe putting in three or four drops of food coloring, dyeing one egg, seeing if you can get another one and just kind of adding more drops as you go rather than putting a whole bunch in at the beginning because otherwise you're gonna pretty much dye your rice and not your eggs and it will just work out better if you kind of die as you go. And it will be more fun for the kiddos because they will continue to get to put more food coloring in and that's, you know, a fun part of this activity as well. So I really think Aubrey had fun doing this activity. I really like how the eggs turned out. I had an egg the next morning and some of the dye like still rubbed off on my fingers. I'm not sure if that's how it is when you dye eggs in like the hot water and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if, if you remember getting some food coloring on your fingers from dyeing the normal way. <laughs> but anyways, shortly after we were done putting these back in our little Dollar Tree container, which I love, my brother wanted to have some so I I took advantage of the opportunity to show you guys how they peeled and how they're cooked on the inside. I really like my eggs this way. I honestly think this is like a bulletproof way to cook eggs. So if you haven't got your method just right, give this one a try. I promise you it will work out great. And the other great thing that I need to mention about this activity is you have colored rice at the end of this activity. You could have a fun, colorful meal with your kiddos or what the TikTok video that I saw recommended was using this rice as sensory rice for sensory play. So there's plenty of options for you and nothing is wasted. Wow, it's pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna like me, mommy. 
<laughs> no more. We're all done. And that's it. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.